Women FC TV with Aaron Racine looking ahead to having a more Louisville away in the National League South. Aaron, how are you feeling going into it? Uh, confident in terms of what we how we played at the weekend against Bath. So just looking forward to sort of getting out there and trying to do the same what we've done um, on Sunday, but obviously keep a clean sheet. Yeah, big thing on Sunday. It felt like the team had plenty going for them to win the game, plenty of chances. Just didn't quite defend as well as you'd like. Do you feel like you've got that down pat in the sessions this week? Yeah, we're always working on obviously our, our weaknesses and how to be better, but equally as well trying to enhance our strengths and be better going forward still. Because you know, we were, I think we were brilliant on, on Sunday and how we played and creating chances, but there's still things that we can be better at. So yeah, had a good week of prep and yeah, worked on both ends. Looking at our opponents as a team that we've come across a few times in the last couple of seasons and they seem to be different every time we come across them. We beat them 3-0 earlier in the season but under a different manager. What are you expecting from them going into Friday? I think it'll be tough because of the position they're in. Uh, relegation battle, obviously fight for their lives uh, and on top of that they're at home so that'll give them a bit of a, a reason to uh, show up and sort of come at us a little bit. So yeah, not expecting anything easy about tomorrow um, and just making sure that we're prepped for that. Talking about that defence and strengthening up the defence, you have made a sign with it being deadline day with uh, Cody Lyons Foster coming in. What are you expecting from him? He's coming in from Tunbridge Angels, a big defender. What do you expect him to bring into the team? Yes, he's a, a, a good option in terms of a left footed defender again, so it gives a bit more balance um, sort of across our back three or back four, however we play. Um, but also, as well, just gives a bit more strength um, in depth going into the back end of the season and you know, hopefully playoffs. Last year, when we went into our Playoff semi, we were quite lightweight and had a few injuries, so I think we're trying to uh, nullify that again, or nullify that this this season, uh, making sure we're sort of covered and ready in all positions. So about defenders, it's been a big thing with centre backs, making sure they can they can play with their feet as well as their head and being a defensive presence. Do you think Cody brings that? Yeah, from what I've seen of him, yeah, I think he, he can definitely bring that. He looks like a, a good composed player on the ball, and on top of that, he's quite a good size and he, he looks quite dominant in the air. So, yeah, hopefully he can bring a good balance of both. Looking at uh, the squad available to you for Friday, is there anyone who might not be out? I know a couple of the players were about a week or so away, people like Ollie Wright and uh, Nicky Wheeler's injury issues he's having at the moment, but playing through, Greg Lurs was a few weeks away, where are all those guys? Yeah, Greg actually trained on Tuesday, um, he gave it a go and got through it, so as it stands we've actually got a fully fit squad, um, there's a few niggles which we've obviously got a man manager with game time and obviously training minutes, um, but apart from that we've, uh, we've got a fully fit squad. With the boys that were on loans that were still associated with us, like uh, Tommy Willard and Ollie Wright, whereabouts are those two? Uh, yeah, they're back of us tonight, so they're going to train tonight. Um, Tommy's obviously had a, some some setbacks with a hamstring injury, um, so you know hopefully he is fully fit and, and ready for selection. So promising for going into the running for the season to have those boys available when maybe it looked like they might actually not be. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, with um, with the likes of Ollie and um, Tommy's setbacks, it was yeah the, the season was coming close close to the end and almost they were injuries were delayed a little bit but yeah fortunately we've got them back and like I say it's a it's a good it's a good problem to have in terms of how much how many players we have fit and uh, going back into the, in the back end of the season it'll be important to have a, a squad that size. You remember our last time we went over to having the 5-1 win around Christmas time last season great crowd brilliant turnout on, off the pitch from the fan base of it being a fairly local game how good would that be to have a good crop of supporters there? The yeah brilliant I think this time of year um, obviously the games we've been playing and the results really I think we do need every little bit of help we can going forward and I think they'll play that big part.